Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Lao Good morning, Lao Okay. Good morning, Lao Okay. Let's see our course design for uh for day no no not the days. Okay. For this uh to uh design the high speed shaft. High speed shaft means the shaft one is con uh, lacking with the shaft zero. Shaft zero is, is the shaft of the bottle and the high speed shaft. High speed shaft, you can see. Uh, <clears throat> on this shaft, uh, half coupling, um, bearings and the gear are mounted on this shaft. So we choose this shaft as um, um <laughs> the separate shaft and uh, we should design this shaft. Uh, design its uh, uh, dimension, dimension. And uh, the last class, last class, we have, we have uh, choose the materials rigidity of the uh, high speed stage gears and choose the number of teeth uh, for small and big gear first and and then we uh we uh calculation calculation the contact strength because the rigidity is more than 350. So we use contact stress to design and and uh, then the minimal diameter of the small gear should be larger than this. Uh, in this formula, we should we should determine uh, we should determine the values of K, T, F, D, U, and Z, E, Z, H, Z, E, B, Z, B, H, and the allowable stress. And, and in this table, in this table, we have load the uh, torque, torque, and the speed ratio, the speed ratio. Okay, and uh, this is this speed ratio is for the high speed stage, and then we should determine these factors. And first, we choose a trial load factor kT first. Universally, kT is within this range, one point two to one point four. So. Uh, when you do the design, you can choose KT as 1.2 or 1.4. And then universally, universally we choose 5D as 1. And, uh, and then we determine the zoom factor. Zoom factor use this, uh, use the formula, formula and, uh, and then we choose we choose the handicap angle bait within this range. And in there, we choose bait at 40 degree. You can choose bait at 30 or 50. And then determine the elastic influence coefficient, ZE, for steer for steer pinning and spear gear, the ZE is usually 189.8. And then contact ratio factor Z epsilon 
And for Hanikar deer, for Hanikar deer, say epsilon, say epsilon can use this uh, formula to calculate. So we should calculate epsilon alpha and epsilon beta first. If epsilon beta larger than one, use epsilon beta as one to calculate the E and then calculate the beta, the beta. And to calculate the allowable contact stress. The allowable contact stress can use this formula to calculate, to calculate. And, and then we choose, we choose uh, K, H, N, Sigma H limit and S, H, and S, H. And you only select S, H as one, and then calculate the allowable stress. Now we know all the factors and then we can calculate the minimal diameter D1. Minimal diameter D1. And, and then we should check, we should check the uh, design. We should check the design. So uh, we calculate the velocity and the face wings and the modular and then check, calculate the ratio of B to H. And, and then we calculate the load factor K. Uh, before design, we have we have choose a uh, trailer load factor KT. We select KT as one point three, and then we calculate the load factor K according to according to this this dates, and uh, then we know that K. The load factor K include four components. So we should uh, uh, we should determine the Ka, K way, K alpha and K beta. And uh, from the working working hours per day, select Ka is 1.1. And according to the calculated velocity, velocity and the choose uh, their accuracy grade, and then we we can find the values of kV. This is the grade, and this is the velocity, and we choose the we choose the values of kV, uh, and then we calculate we calculate the k alpha for context stress. It's k h alpha. And in this table, from the uh, hardness, uh, the uh, the hardness of the gear, is soft uh, to surface and hanic gears, and according to the accuracy grade, we choose K H alpha and K F alpha at one point two from this table, and then we should determine K beta. K bit can use K H beta can use this formula to calculate to calculate according to the accuracy grade we can find the value for A1, A2, A3, and A4 and we choose phi D as one and we calculate the phase width B. Then we calculate the K H beta. And then Where to calculate a uh, yeah. Uh, the phi D, why is it one? Uh because uh after uh, because before we before we do the design there, do you remember? For say semic supporting, we usually oh, choose okay. phi D as one. one. Okay. Mm. Okay, we have a choose phi D and uh, and in there we calculate the phase wind B. 
is five d times d one t. D one t is the calculate uh minimum diameter. Okay. Mm. We have load b and uh, and uh, we load states factors and load five d and b. So we can calculate the kh base. And we use this formula to calculate the Kf bit, okay? Kf bit, this is for bending stress and this is for contact stress and calculate Kf bit. And then we load the uh, four component values. So the calculate the load factor K is Ka 1.1 times kv, kv is 1.15, times kh alpha, kh alpha, uh, kh alpha is 1.2, there is a, there is a little wrong, 1.2, uh, and uh, kh alpha is 1.342, so calculate the uh, load factor k, is this this video and then we have select a kt at 1.3 and compared the calculated load factor k with the kt uh, they are different so we should we should modify modify the minimal diameter d1 use this use this use, use this formula this is the calculated uh, minimum diameter. It is 38.97, okay, calculated. And then this, uh, we times this to modify. And then the modified, modified uh, diameter D1 is 45.2. Six three, and then we use the modified D one to modify the modular M N. Uh, we have we have calculate M N T use D one T D one T. Do you remember? We have calculate M N T, and then we should modify the M N the M N use this. Mn is d1 times cosine beta divided by z1. We have choose z1 as 22 and choose the Hennig angle beta as 40 degree. And then this d1 is the modified, modified pitch diameter. And then we calculate the modular Mn is 1.996. We know that the modular seven are uh, standard. Standard, so we should choose a um, standard value uh, from this table in your PPT. Uh, we can choose the standard value close to the calculate value. So we choose MN as two, as two, okay, as two, and then we can calculate calculate the center distance. Use this. To calculate the center distance, we lost Z1, Z2, MN, and uh, bit. And then, and then we select the center distance at 124. 24. And then we should modify, modify the Hanekar angle in from this, from the uh, uh, this formula so we should load the values of z1 z2 mn and the center distance and then we use these values to modify bit uh, calculate the use these data to calculate the bit is 40.49 degree is close to the select one because we select handic angle at 40 degree the two Values are uh, closed. So, so with these these factors, don't need to be modified. Don't need to be modified. 
and then we use the modified helical angle to modify d1 again. Use this formula. Uh, MA is 2. We select Z1 as 22, and then modify the bit is this value, and then we modify the D1. The D1 should be larger than uh, 45.4545 millimeter, and then and the D2, the pitch diameter for the uh, larger, for the larger uh, gear, uh, we use this to calculate for the uh, D2 and then to calculate or modify the uh, face, face winds B. B is equal to phi D times D1, do you remember? And uh, we usually select phi D as one and D1 use this uh, modified value and we lost that B is this. So for uh, the uh, larger larger gear, we choose B2 at 50 and B1 for the small, for the small gear, choose the face winds at uh, 46 millimeter. We can uh, select uh, this or or you can select uh, B2 at 55, B1 at, uh, at 50, or oh, B1 at, oh, no, 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 not, not 55, 55. Universally, B1 is larger than uh, B2, 55. Or you can select B1 at 54 or 50, uh, six okay and then and then we have we should uh, we have low the uh, dimensions design the dimensions for the small gear we have designed the diameter uh, and uh, the face wings and uh, the technical angle for the small gears and uh, in the design procedure, we have check check the D1 twice. Uh, first, we use we can calculate the load factor and compact the calculated load factor with the select uh, select load factor KT, and uh, then to modify the diameter, and then. And then we use we use this we use this formula to modify the Hennig angle, and uh, we should uh, calculate the center distance first and uh, center distance and uh, the modular first, and then we use the modify the Hennig angle to. Uh, modify the D1 again, D1 again, and then we choose B2 and uh, B1, B2 and B1. And then we should, uh, we do this design, uh, use, use, use contact stress, and uh, then we use bending stress to check, to check. You can use the two formula to check and uh, this means the modular should be larger than this. This means the calculated bending stress should be less than the allowable allowable bending stress. And the uh, first we should we should calculate the allowable allowable bending stress universally use this use this formula and then we should calculate k f m one and sigma f limit and s f and y s t uh first okay 
do this, uh, calculate this first. And universally, and universally, uh, from the six sigma f limit can select can select uh is in this table this table okay and this is for the contact injuries limit this is for the bending injuries limit say f limit okay and um, and then uh for the uh, for the value of KFN, and uh, the selection should compare compare the load of cycles, uh, with with these cycles, and uh, if the uh, calculated number of load cycles larger than this, usually select KFN um smaller than one, so. There, uh, choose, uh, KFN one as one point eight five, and uh, KFN two as one point eight seven. Okay, you also can choose, uh, a larger, uh, value within this range. Uh, from uh your uh, text uh book, on page. Two hundred and six. The uh, selection value, selection value KFN universally varies from a uh, point eight five to two point uh, five. And if the number of load uh, load cycles larger than this, uh, then select uh, uh, uh value should be then. Zero point eight five two one. You can select uh, uh, any values within this range, and 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 the uh, SF SF is is universally SF is universally within this range. One point two five to one point. Uh, Five okay, and in there, uh, there we choose SF at one point four. You also can choose SF at one point three when you do the design, and and universally we choose Y, we choose YST as two, as two. So we calculate the allowable bending stress for small gear and large gear and then and then we calculate the load factor for bending stress we have calculate load factor for contact stress for uh, uh, when we do the check the check the diameter and then we calculate the load factor for bending stress for bending stress we have load that Load that okay, and this is one point two, one point one point two. It's uh the K alpha, uh K a uh, K A and K V and the K F alpha and the K F beta to calculate the load factor, uh K for bending suggests. But bending suggests uh, it's uh, this but bending suggests mm -hmm. and uh, and then and then we should check we should check the number of teeth. Uh, uh, be uh, uh, before design, we have we have a uh, choose or select uh the number of teeth Z one at uh twenty two. Do you remember? Do you remember? 
we have select Z1 as 22, and Z2 as, as uh, 98. This is the select one. We use this select value to calculate the uh, minimal diameter D1. And then when we do the check, use bending factor, uh, uh, bending stress, uh, and we should compute the virtual number of T's. Use this formula to check. We have select Z1 at 22, and we have modified the helical bed at this, at this. This one is, uh, do you remember? We have modified the helical bed. And then we calculate the ZV1, the virtual number of T's is 24.26. And then we select Z1 at 25. And then select Z2 at 110. So this is modified, modified number of keys. And, and according to the modified number of keys, Z1 and Z2, we should calculate the factor YFA. YFA and YSA uh, from this paper. Do you remember from this uh, from this table? Mm, and and uh, <coughs> and uh, for Z one for Z one they modified. Uh, the modified uh, tooth uh, number of, of teeth is 25. Do you remember? So we select the values for YFA and YSA. YFA and YSA, of course, because uh, for ben for check check which we should know the values of y f a and y s a do you remember and uh, and uh, from and then uh, in order to obtain the value of y f a and y s a we should Check the day, the number of teeth first. Mm. This equation, and then we choose this value for uh, GR1. The, for the GR1, the number of teeth is uh, mm -hmm. 25. And for GR2, for, this, for the larger GR, Z2 is 110. And in this temple, we can't find the values of 110. But we use, uh, we lost the values for 100 and 150. So we calculate YFA and YSA by interpolation, interpolation. Okay? Okay. Uh, use interpolation to calculate the YFA and the YSA for GR2 when the number of teeth J is 110. If, um, and then we calculate the values for GR2. And then, how do you do interpolation? Uh, how to do the interpolation? Okay. Uh, Okay. When we do the interpolation, uh, do the interpolation, uh, uh, okay. The slope, the slope is the same. We have this Z1 
the values, uh, uh, for example, we calculate the YFA, okay? YFA. So we have this, the number of tiers, 150 minus 100, and divided by the value, 2.14, and uh, minus 2.18 should be equal equal to the number of t's for zero to minus 100 and then the F Y F A is X and uh, Mylers Mylers two point one eight. And you could see. So, this, this is the formula. Okay, let me see. We use the. interrelation and this is a line yes it's a line okay and there are two points point Two points, okay, mm. and um, maybe this in the This is y axis is x axis, okay? <clears throat> and uh, select, uh, uh, assume that this, this uh, x axis uh, is the number of t's is the number of t's day, okay? And, and the y axis is the value of y, ysa, okay? Okay, Lashi. So this is the value of y s a. This is the number of t s j. So we can obtain the coordinates for the two point. The two point uh, indicate indicate we for the j is one hundred and this is one hundred and five uh, and fifty. Okay. Okay, Lord. This, according to this, this is one hundred. And this is one hundred and fifty. And then, and they will we choose the two as one hundred and ten at this point. We lost this. The J is one hundred and uh, one hundred and ten 
and then we should calculate the corresponding value of y s a y s a should this we should calculate this value okay the corresponding corresponding value of YSA when J is 110, choose this value, okay? And then we have this, we have this. Okay. The slope, the slope is the same, okay? The slope is the same. So there, there are two <coughs> there are two triangle, this triangle and this triangle and this slope. How to calculate the slope? Uh they this value minus this value, 150 minus 100 is this length, and uh, and divided by this length, this length, okay? This length divided by this length is 19 alpha, this angle, and uh, it's equal to this length divided by this length. The, alpha to alpha the two angle is the same okay it's the slope is the same so we have this formula and then we can calculate the value of x okay any problem any problem any problem for the interpolating any problem no no okay so we use interpolating to calculate yf2 and ys2 and then and then we should calculate y epsilon y epsilon can calculate use this formula so we should we should calculate epsilon alpha v first first and 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 then we should know the values of cosine beta b and epsilon alpha. We have calculated epsilon alpha uh, when we do the uh, context stress calculation. Do you remember? Yes. We have epsilon alpha. Uh, there. Let me see. Epsilon alpha. There, we have calculated epsilon alpha. Okay. And then we and then we kept we calculate the epsilon alpha v and then calculate the value of the factor y epsilon and then we calculate y beta beta we have calculated epsilon beta first and is larger than one. So we choose epsilon beta as one to calculate the y beta, y beta, and then we calculate the value of y beta, and then we should calculate the ft. Ft use this formula. Use this formula. We have low the t one the Tokyo for shaft one, and we have modified the diameter d1 and then we calculate ft 
and then we can calculate the bending stress. The K load the factor, we have calculated the load factor for bending stress and the tangential force Ft and we have we have uh, uh, load calculate the phase went B and the modular MN and we lost the values for YFA, YSA, Y epsilon and Y beta. And we calculate the bending stress for GR1 and GR2 and compared with the allowable stress. And we have we have calculated the allowable stress for GR1 and GR2. There, do you remember? And uh, and the and the calculated bending stress is less than the allowable stress. So the design the design gear can meet both contact and bending stress requirements. So the design is reasonable. Okay. So so we determine the final dimension, select Z1 as 25, Z2 as 110. And then we use the select one Z1 and Z2 to modify the diameter D1 again, again, use this, use this, use this formula to calculate the D1 minimal, minimal diameter should be larger than this, than this, and uh, D2 should be larger than this. And then we, we calculate the phase, phase winds B. B and then we select B1 at 55 and B2 at uh, 52. And then and and then we have we have finished the design of the high speed gears. Any problem? Any problem? Any problem for the design of gears? Oh. Okay. Okay. So, so we um. So, uh, when we do when we when we use contact. Uh, uh, stress to design the uh, diameter of the gears. Uh, D1 has been modified twice. And uh, when we do the bending stress, uh, bending stress, use bending stress to check, check, we modify the number of T's Z and, and then we do the uh, modify again. And uh, to obtain to obtain the calculate minimal diameter, and then we calculate the center distance and phase winds. So this is the final, this is the final uh, values for D and uh, and the B. Okay, and uh, then they, we have uh, yeah. Can can you suggest us a uh, example, you know, from our book, in which page? Uh, uh, examples. You need examples. Yeah, you know, from our books, like written in in uh, books. Uh, your your textbook. Yep, yep. Okay, in your textbook, let me see. Let me see. It's in your test book. Yeah. In your textbook on page on page two hundred and forty, the example two, 
the example two is to design a helical gear. Okay. You can it's refer to you. you can refer to this um calculation procedure. Okay. Example, example eight point two. Do uh, it select select uh, the day first and uh, to design use use uh, context context uh, suggest to design the one larger than this and uh, and the thing to use bending suggest use bending suggest to do check it's when it's just to check there are lots of things um there it's bending suggests this calculated bending suggests should uh, smaller than the allowable suggests okay yeah check so so you can refer to this uh, calculating procedure procedure and and uh, in your in this uh, design case we uh, for our course design they also have a, a calculation procedure to this but there is uh, some errors some errors Okay. Where? Okay. For the case two, uh, you can compare the design formula for D one T is a little different from from the formula in uh, uh, our textbook. Okay, and uh, and uh, they there. Uh, he used bending suggest to check, to check, and uh, and finally, and finally, the dimension, the dimension in this uh, case, uh, he choose D one, the minimal D one, uh, should larger than this, but note that. Here D1 is a little smaller and it should be larger than this. So this uh, calculation is a little wrong. Lashi. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What are you talking about? I think you didn't share the screen. Which? Are, are you in our books or in another page? Uh. In your book, on your books. Okay, now it's... Uh, books, this, uh, this uh, calculation procedure is correct. And, uh, and in this, in the design case, the procedure is not uh, correct. Uh, okay? Oh, yeah. It's oh. not correct. Uh, it's not correct. So you should refer to this procedure. And then... Uh, when calculate the D one should larger than this, okay. But in the in the case, this D one is a uh, little smaller, should be larger, should be larger, okay. A little a little wrong for for the uh for this case and. Uh, then this is the design for the gears. So let's have a break, okay? Have a break. Okay. Okay.
Okay, let's continue. Okay, Lucy. Okay, and uh, and this uh, calculations it's for your course design. And uh, so uh, you can uh, refer to you can refer to this uh, calculations in the PPT and um, this is uh, your course design, okay? And you can refer to this uh, calculations and you can choose, you can choose uh, different, uh, different values, okay? And um, then this is for the uh, gear design, gear design, and uh, and then and then we should design and calculation for the high speed shaft. This shaft, the high speed shaft, and we have designed the high speed stage gears, and. Um, when we design this shaft, we should load the minimal diameter of the shaft. Minimal diameter of the shaft. And we use this, this uh, uh, formula to calculate the minimal diameter of the shaft. Okay. Uh, you can find uh, in your textbook. Uh, and this is the allowable, allowable shear stress. Uh, Universally, for shaft, we should load to medium carbon steers as uh, shaft materials. You know, we should load to medium carbon steers as shaft materials. So the allowable shear stress is within this range from 20 to 40. And in our design, <coughs> in the case, in the case, uh, design case, let me see, for the uh, design and the calculation of shaft, okay? In this uh, design, uh, we choose, we choose the, uh, how we choose the uh, select the allowable dress is uh, uh, 35. You can refer to the uh, calculation <coughs> calculation in your uh, the example in your textbook on page. Let me see. <clears throat> this this the example ten point uh, one ten point one okay on, on your textbook your textbook on page two hundred and seventy seven okay this is for the uh, example for the shaft, shaft design and uh, use this. Uh, and in the he choose the allowable shear stress at 35. And uh, in the PPT, we choose uh, the allowable stress at 35 two. And uh, and then we should load the power and uh, speed speed speed. Um, we have calculate the for shaft one the power and the rotating speed. Okay, and we choose the allowable stress. So we calculate. Calculate the minimal diameter of the shaft. The minimal diameter of the shaft. The minimal diameter of the shaft. Then calculate it at this one. 
like this one. Okay. And uh, the segment of shaft with minimal diameter is connecting with the coupling. There, yeah, with the coupling. And, uh, <clears throat> and uh, a coupling, a uh, half coupling is mounted on this shaft segment. So on this shaft segment, there is a K, a K, uh, the K may decrease the stress of the of the, the shaft. So the the diameter should be larger, should be larger uh, than the calculate uh, minimal diameter. Usually, uh, ten percent larger. Uh, okay, and you can choose ten percent larger, and uh, and then. This is this is uh, a <coughs> example for the high speed shaft. This is the minimal diameter segment. On this segment, uh, uh, half coupling is mounted, and uh, this is on this segment. Uh, a bearing, bearing is mounted. A pair of bearing. This is the left bearing, and on there is mounted the right, the right bearing. And on this segment, uh, the high speed gear is mounted, mounted. So on this segment, it's a it's a K, and on this segment, there is a K, a K two. And this is a shouldering, shouldering, okay? A shouldering, okay, you can see in there, in the design case, uh, there is mounted a uh, half, half uh, coupling, and this segment and this segment, uh, a pair of bearings are mounted. And then this segment mounted the uh, gear. And uh, and uh, there is a bearing, a bearing. And this is a oil buffer, oil buffer. And um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this way determines there are segments A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So for the shaft, we should determine the diameter and length for all the segment segments. Okay. And for shaft segment A. The, we have calculated the um mini the minimal diameter the minimal diameter the minimal diameter okay and and then and then this segment is mounted a half coupling a half coupling and the uh, diameter of this segment should consider consider the dimension of coupling because uh, the dimension of coupling is standard. Is standard, okay? And <clears throat> and uh, uh, before we select a coupling, we should load the torque transmitted by shaft. And uh, we have load the torque transmitted by shaft one. The input. The input uh torque for shaft one we have list in uh, in the table is this and then consider consider the factor K A and the calculate the torque T C A is K A times the transmitted uh, torque. So the calculated torque is 
five seven, and then, <coughs> and then, we should, uh, we should, uh, we should to choose, choose a company, choose a company. Okay, from this, from this, uh, uh, word, word where I have submit to the group. Okay, we to choose a coupling. Let me see. Coupling. Mm -hmm. This is the key. So let me see where is the that is the company. Let me see. Okay. Um. Eight. Okay. This chapter, chapter thirty, is the uh, happening. Okay. So this is a company, but uh, mounted on the shaft is half half company, half company. Okay, half company mounted on shaft one and half company mounted on shaft zero, zero. And this is the this is the company type, and this is the lumino torque transmitted by the coupling and this is allowable rotating speed and we should choose we should choose the uh, values for d1 d1 is the power diameter power diameter is the corresponding mounted shaft diameter and uh, l1 l1 is the length of half company Length of half company, and L. L is the lens. Is the lens mounted on the mounted on the shaft. So, so according according to the calculated torque, the torque is forty four point five six. So, we can choose. We can choose which which type of company. We can choose HL one type, okay. HL one type, okay. Anybody? Anybody here? How low she? Okay. For HL one type, the nominal torque transmitted torque is one hundred and sixty. Uh, larger than the calculated torque, okay, and the allowable rotating speed is larger than the uh speed for the uh shaft one. For the shaft one, the uh rotating speed is nine hundred and sixteen. So H L one H L one can satisfy the requirement, okay. So it should this be larger than or smaller than? Larger, larger, larger mm. than, larger than torque and uh, speed of the calculation value. And uh, this is for HL1. You also can choose TL, TL type. For TL type, we can choose which type? We can choose which type? HL. Three. Uh, three. The transmission power is thirty one point five. It's uh, smaller than the calculated torque. The calculated torque is forty four point five seven. So the torque should be larger than calculated torque. So we mm -hmm. can choose which one. Should it be larger? Should the Tokyo should be larger than forty four point six three? 
So we can choose which type? TL4. TL4, yes. The transmitted power is larger and uh, the speed ratio is larger than the, uh, the, the uh, actual uh, speed ratio. And uh, this is the diameter. The whole diameter means means the diameter of the shaft, okay? Diameter of the shaft. And this is the length of uh, the length of half happening. And this is the length of the <clears throat> the length you know, to uh, mounted with the shaft. This is for TL4. And if we choose elastic company, elastic company, the ML type company, for the ML type company, we can choose which? We can choose ML2 or ML3 type. Okay? Any problem? Any problem? Uh, ML3 to, is, is a long distance. ML3, 90. Uh yeah, it is it, it, it's big, but uh it uh uh we can choose the the larger one. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. okay. <coughs> <coughs> and and if we choose. HL type or TL type, we can choose HL1 or TL4. The normal torque for HL1 is 160, and for TL4 is 63. And for these two type coupling, the aperture of the half coupling is 20 millimeter and the total stress of the half coupling is uh, it's 52 and the mating length of half bore is 38 millimeter okay this is for the two types of coupling and if we choose the ML3 type elastic coupling, the torque is light D and the aperture of half coupling D1 is 30 millimeter and the total length of the half coupling is 82 and the mating length of the half bar is 60. So, so <clears throat> according to the book, according to the in this, uh, in the uh, design case, uh, hey, it, it choose the ML3 type coupling. So, so we choose this uh, coupling too. And uh, if we choose this type coupling, the D1, the uh, segment A, the diameter of segment A, is equal to this diameter. So we choose D1 as 30 millimeter. And the length of segment one should be a less smaller than this. So it's 58 millimeter. So uh, this in our in our uh, design design case he choose L1 as uh, 82. 82 is the length of half, half coupling, not the length of the shaft. There is a little, a little wrong, okay? There is wrong. In, there is wrong. So, so for segment A, which, uh, which uh, half coupling is mounted, we select the diameter as 30, degree and the length is a small little than the length of half ball. So we choose the length as 58. If we choose HL1 or TL4 type, 
thirty one. The D1 should be D1 should be twenty millimeter, okay? And L1 should be at less at less smaller than this. You can choose thirty six, okay? <clears throat> or 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 in the for the uh, T TL four. TL4 type, you can choose the D at, at 20 or 22 or 24. You also can choose 22 or 24. Okay? Do you do you understand? Yeah. Understand? Yes. So uh for this you can choose you can choose the D1 at 20 or 22 or oh, 24 diameter okay and then and then and then the uh and then the lens of company and the lens of mating of it's the same okay you can choose d1 at 20 or 22 or 24 if you choose d1 at 22 the diameter of shaft segment A is 22. If you choose 24, the D1, D1 is 24, okay? And then we use this, we use this selection, this, this selection according to the book, according to the case. In this case, he choose, he <coughs> choose ML, he, Choose uh, the ML3 type. So D1, we select D1 at 30 and L1 at 58. And then for segment B, segment B, a bearing cover is mounted. A bearing cover is mounted, okay? Uh, like this, like this, in this. You can refer to you can refer to the example ten point one in your textbook on this page on this page okay <coughs> and and it's the C this diameter this is the shaft A B C D E F G and on segment A on segment A a half coupling is mounted. This lens this lens is the lens of half coupling the L and this lens is the mating is the mating lens okay is the mating lens in this uh in in the this is the lens of half coupling, and this is the lens for mating, mating with the shaft. Okay. So this is on segment A, it mounted a uh, half coupling, and on segment uh, segment B, segment B, a uh, bearing cover is mounted. Okay, mounted, and then for for segment for segment uh, B to meet the requirement of actual location of half coupling, the right side of segment one needs a shoulder with a height of upper limit H should be within this range. And therefore the uh, diameter of segment uh, two uh, D2 is 35. Any problem? Any problem? So, the height, the height of the shoulder. Mm -hmm. <coughs> there is a shoulder. Shoulder, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You po uh, position, position the company. And the height of the shoulder should be within this range. D, we select D at 30 millimeter. So <clears throat> the H 
should be within point uh, zero seven times thirty uh, to point uh, one times thirty. Okay. And then, and then we select we select H as two point five two point five. Select the H. The height of the shoulder is two point five. So this diameter should be a D one D one plus two times H. Okay. 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 So so. D1 is 30, 30 plus 2 times 2.5 is 35 millimeter, okay? 35 millimeter. <coughs> <coughs> so this is the um, um, diameter for segment B or segment 2. And, uh, and then according to the requirement of assembling and disassembling, of the bearing cover, select L two. We can we can refer to the refer, we can refer to uh the selection um, of the um in the design case in the design case it select L two and sixty. So in there uh we select the meter. Okay. You also can choose choose that one. You can choose uh fifty or <coughs> or uh, 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 seventy or sixty five. Okay, you can choose uh, a a lot. Okay, and this is for segment B, and for segment C, for segment C, in there, in this uh in the example. On segment C, um, bearing is mounted. It's mounted, but in our in our design case, they mounted a bearing, a bearing and a oil buffer, oil buffer. So the lens should be the lens of the bearing plus the lens of the oil oil buffer. Okay. And and uh first uh I, uh bearing uh, is mounted on segment C. So first we should choose the we should choose the bearing type. Bearing type. Because on a uh, hanicur uh hanicur deer is mounted on the on the shaft. So the shaft uh is will be subject to actual force and the radial force, okay? So mm -hmm. the selected yeah. bearing should should, <laughs> should be subject to both radial force and uh, and extra force, okay? Should be bearing for, uh, so, so do you remember uh, in, uh, for the bearing, which uh, uh bearings can subject to both axial force and the radial force. Which bearing? <coughs> okay, let me see. Okay, <coughs> for um radial force and the axial force we can choose these uh types the deep groove ball bearings and angular contact ball bearings or tapered roller bearings to subject to a radial and axial force okay and this and this can subject radial loads only and this can subject actual force. And for both radial force and actual force, we can choose we can choose this uh type uh bearings. Okay. Okay. And in there, 
and in there, and in there we choose, we choose taper the roller bearing, this type. Three means the roller, the, the type of bearing is taper the roller bearing. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you remember? Zero, zero is, it's with is wings coat, wings coat, and two is diameter. Uh, coat, okay, and uh, zero eight zero k eight. Do you remember the base, the base coat? <coughs> It's bore dimension code, okay? It's bore dimension code. And the bore dimension is the bore dimension code times five, times five. So, so for this type bearing, the whole dimension is eight times five is 40 millimeter. It's 40 millimeter, okay? So, the hole is 40 millimeters, so the diameter of this shaft segment is 40 millimeter too. We select D3 as 40 millimeter according according to the bearing type. Any problem? Any problem? No. So if we choose we choose the bearing type, it's Three zero two zero seven. So the whole diameter is seven times five is thirty five. Uh, yeah, it's thirty five. But we can't choose thirty five because <coughs> the diameter of segment B is thirty five, and the diameter of segment C should be larger than the segment. Uh, that of segment B should larger than 35, okay? Okay. The diameter of seg of segment B, this diameter is 35. So this diameter of segment C should be larger segment B, okay? Should be larger than segment B. But segment B, D2 is 35, okay? And so we choose uh, this type. The diameter should be larger, uh, 35. And we choose uh, the diameter is 40 millimeter, okay? And 48 times 5 is the diameter. This is the bore dimension code, okay? Bore dimension code times five is the bore dimension. The bore dimension is of the uh, bearing is the uh, dimension of shaft segment. Okay. Okay. Any problem? Any problem? Locate this this shaft segment C in which page? I'm looking for uh, this one. Uh, shaft segment C. On this on shaft segment C, a left bearing is mounted on this on this segment bearing, and uh, and the dimension of bearings are standard. Okay. No, no, no. And, I'm asking uh, this part in which page in, in our book. Hello. Uh, you mean how to choose the bearing type? No, no, no. I mean this shaft segment C, lift bearing and oil buff buckle. In which yeah. page in our book? Are you talking? Are talking from our books or? <coughs> according to the, according to the design case, you also oh. needn't needn't mounted the oil. Or a buff, you can mount it a bearing okay. only, only according to the according to the example on your textbook. There is mounted mm -hmm. a bearing.
bearing only. Not there is not oil buffer. Okay. Okay. There is there is no oil buffer. You can so when you do the design, when you do the course design, you can mount the oil buffer or not mount the oil buffer. You can only mount a bearing. Okay. 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 And then and then for this type of bearing. Hmm, okay, I will see. Where is the for the bearing? Okay. Okay, this is for the table. Uh, 30 to 2 is for the bearing. Okay, let me see. Let me see the type. Yeah, there. There is the type for tapered roller bearing. Okay, this is for <clears throat> this type. This type. Okay, three zero two zero eight. We choose this type. Okay, we choose this type, and uh, the D is the whole diameter, and this D. Is diameter of the bearing, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, and there is the T. T is the length. It's the length. T there. Or or is the width of the bearing T. So so for this type, the length. Is ninety point seven five. Okay, ninety point seven five, and you should uh notice this. A, A is this distance. A is this distance. This distance means what? Means the reacting point. Reacting point. When oh, that the means fifteen point nine. Yes, the A, the corresponding value. This A. This A. Okay, this lens mm -hmm. is this lens means the reacting point when the uh, a pair of bearing, uh, mounted on the on the shaft, it can support the reacting force, reacting force, okay? And uh, this is the reacting point, reacting point. We uh, use this to calculate, do the force analysis, okay? okay. To, do the, to do the force analysis. <laughs> this is the reacting point, okay? So, for this type of bearings, the Power diameter and uh, the diameter of the bearing and the length of the bearing is this. Is this okay? If <coughs> if this segment bay uh, is mounted a bearing only, so the length is this. The length is this. Okay, this is the length of this segment, but there is mounted a wire buffer too. So consider the ones of wire buffer. Uh, we consider, uh, we refer to, refer to the uh, design case. We select the lens is 30.75. Means the width of the wire buffer is 11. It's 11, okay? Okay, but when you design, you you can, uh, you can not uh use this or your buffer. You just uh, mount the left bearing. So the uh, L three should be nineteen point seven five, should be the width of the bearing. Okay. Okay. Any problem, or a little less than the length of the bearing. Okay, any, no, any problem? No, no. Uh, any this problem? 19.75, no need to calculate it, or only this one? Uh, 
<clears throat> if you if you choose this type berry, choose this mm. three zero two zero eight. These yeah. these uh, are standard standard okay. standard. You can find in the table. You can find the whole diameter, the diameter of the bearing, and the wings of the bearing. This is the wings of the bearing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wings of the bearing. They are standard value. Standard values. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. And uh, and for segment G, the amount that the right bearing and all your buffer. So we choose a couple of bearing, so the value is the same. The for shaft segment G and the shaft segment C, the values are the same. Okay. Okay. So we select D seven. It's forty millimeter, and the lens is this. This two. Okay. Any problem? Any problem? If you if you don't use don't use this or your buffer, the L three L three should be changed should be a change change according to the ones of the bearing. So you can you can refer to the term the example example in your textbook <coughs> in your textbook. Yeah, he choose the angular contact ball bearing seven three one three C, and for this type of bearing, the D times D times T, the ball diameter, the diameter of the bearing, and the width of the bearing is this. So, so, uh, in there he choose the D three is equal to the whole diameter and the L three is equal to the width of the bearing, okay. Mm -hmm. So in in this there, if you don't use the oil buffer, you can choose L three as nineteen point seven five, okay. Okay. Any problem? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. So <coughs> this is for segment C and for segment G, and we have low. We have determining, determining of the segment A, B, C, and G. The length for uh, segment A, the length is uh, fifty eight. According, according to the length of the mating. Of the maintenance of half coupling, okay, and this is the lens, uh, is the width of bearing plus the width of oil buffer. If you not, uh, you not use oil buffer, this lens should be ninety point seven five. There will be, uh, two. So this this finger is uh, is um. Uh, just as the sketcher is not, uh, when you when you when you draw the shaft, this lens should be equal to this lens. Okay, should be equal. The lens should be equal. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we lost the diameter for segment A is thirty millimeter, and for for. Segment B consider the height of shoulder. Consider the height of shoulder is thirty five, and for segment C, the diameter of the shaft should uh, should be equal to the power power diameter of the bearing. So, is forty millimeter, and for this segment, the diameter is a uh, for forty millimeter two. Okay, so we have a uh, lot the dimensions of A, B, C, and uh, G. Then let me to determine the segment F. Uh, on segment F, a, a gear is mounted. 
is mount, is mounted, okay? And for self segment F, we have select, do you remember when we do the uh, gear design? Do the gear design, we have a select B1 at uh, 55 and B2 at 52. Do you remember? Do you remember? When we, when we do the gear design? Yeah, yeah. So, so for the high speed, for the high speed shaft, uh, the small, small gear is mounted. So the wings of this segment should be equal to B1. So the length L6 is 55 millimeter. Okay, equal to this one. This is the width of gear one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, okay. So, <coughs> <coughs> this, there is a shoulder. There is a shoulder too, a shoulder. And we consider, we consider the height of the shoulder should be 2.824 millimeter. And we choose the shoulder height H is 3.5. So D6, D6, D6 should be the diameter of segment G plus two height of the shoulder, okay? Okay, so the D okay, should be D7, should be D7 plus two times H. So in the segment F, D6 is uh, 47 millimeter. And then for the segment me, E is a shoulder ring. And for the shoulder ring, we have this, the height of shoulder ring should be a uh, larger, then this, this, the D is the uh, diameter for segment F. And uh, we select, select H is uh, 3.5. So D5 for segment E, the shoulder ring, D5 is 54 millimeter, okay? And then the width of the shoulder ring should be larger than this. And in there we select L5 at 10 millimeter. You can, you also can select L5 at eight millimeter or nine millimeter. Okay, it's okay. Okay. And then we lose the length and diameter for segment F and segment uh, E. And the length, the length of segment F, the width is equal to the width of the gear, okay? Okay. And, uh, and this is uh, the length for the shoulder. You can, you can refer to, <coughs> you can refer to uh, this. Uh, Unibody, you can select the uh, length be uh, a little than the B. So, so in there, you can choose the length at 55 uh, or, or you can the length, you can the length a uh, little smaller than this. You can choose it as 50, 53, okay? A little, a little, smaller than the width of the of the gear. Okay? 53. 53. And then and then uh for this length, because there is uh, not enough date. Uh not enough date. So we don't follow we don't follow the length of segment uh, D. Okay? So we so we uh, uh, refer to the lens on the design case. Design case, the lens L4, L4 is, from, is between the two bearings, is, is this, and then, and then, 
this should be like that four. And then we uh we select we select the uh lens uh according according to the case to the total lens the total lens between two coupling between two coupling is the lens is the lens uh of d plus e plus f from between the two couplings the total lens is 177.5 and then we calculate uh, the lens of of d of d okay and uh, and then you should uh, consider the diameter of D, consider diameter of D, uh, we consider the shoulder, the shoulder height, the shoulder height. There is a shoulder and uh, this diameter plus two times the shoulder height is the diameter of the segment D. So you should, you should uh, uh, determine by yourself the, the D, okay? And then, and then, <coughs> if uh, if you uh, do you need a break? Do you need a break? Yes, yeah. okay. Okay, let's have a break. Okay, have a break. Okay.
Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's see. Okay. Uh, okay. If for if for uh the self design, if we choose the different different type of company, the whole diameter is different and the length is different. And if we choose the HL one or TL four type coupling, the D one uh, you can choose twenty um millimeter or or consider consider the decrease of strings uh, by the K. You also can you also can uh, choose a larger a larger diameter because the K may decrease the strength of the uh, shaft, so the diameter should be larger. So you can choose uh, 22 or or 24, okay? You can choose uh, 22 or 24, and the lens, and the lens should be a little smaller than the mating lens, okay? And, uh, and, then, and then for bearing cover, for bearing cover, the also you also consider the height the height of the uh, shoulder and if you choose if you choose 20 uh, then the edge the height you uh, can choose two two diameter okay you can choose two two, two millimeter uh, two millimeter and then the uh, d2 is 20 plus two times the height is 24 diameter. If you choose, if you choose uh, diameter D1 as 22, so there should be 26 millimeter or 28 millimeter when D1 is 24, okay? Any problem? Any problem? Any problem? No, no, no. Okay. okay, for the diameter of segment B and uh, the lens, the lens, you can still choose the lens as 60 millimeter. And then <coughs> for the uh, bearing, for the bearing, for the bearing, uh, we also can choose taper the roller bearing, the three series bearing, and but the whole diameter should be changed because the uh, D2, D2 is changed, okay? And uh, so you can choose uh, 30206 uh, type uh, bearing and the whole diameter is, is 30 millimeter and, and the, and, and the, and the uh, diameter and the width of the bearing you can obtain from the table, from table, okay? From table for this series, the whole diameter is 30 and the width is 17.25, 17.25, okay? And then, <coughs> and then, uh, consider the winds of or your better you can select select the uh, <coughs> d and uh, and the lens uh, you also if you choose if you choose the uh, d1 at 24 and the d2 at 28 you also can choose uh, 30207 type bearing and the uh, whole diameter is 7 times 5 is uh, 35 millimeter. Okay, any problem? Any problem? No. Okay, uh, okay. So, so the winds for this series, the winds is 80.25 and uh, and this lens should choose to should change to eighty point two five millimeter. Okay, and this for segment C and segment G, and then and then you can choose this a little smaller than B one, than B one. Okay, and uh, and then 
consider consider the shoulder so consider the shoulder uh, height and then when you choose d1 at 20 millimeter then then uh, <coughs> d6 is 33 millimeter and then uh, for the shoulder ring we also we also uh, calculate calculate and then and then the diameter uh, the dimension the dimension for this is smaller smaller than uh than this when you choose the uh, different uh, type of coupling the dimension of the of the shaft is uh, different is different okay so <clears throat> when you when you do design you can use the uh, uh, values in the ppt to design or you can design uh, by yourself use different use different values okay okay no okay. Can you say it again? um uh, so th this is in your design uh, you can refer to the design the calculation in the ppt or <clears throat> or, or the examples examples in uh, the textbook textbook okay uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, calculation in the design case in the world is lot is lot correctly is lot correctly uh, okay it's lot so there is uh, some uh, errors uh, you should uh, uh, you should notice and you can use the venues in the ppt or you can choose by yourself uh, you can choose a larger a lot of uh, venues okay and the thing and the thing another value from table or by yourself <coughs> uh, what uh, and this value we should we should uh, select the value from only from table right yeah this uh, Venues you can you can select venues in the tables and uh, and uh, 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 for example for example you can select uh, when you do the shaft design you can select the different coupling different coupling uh, type if you choose different uh, coupling type the diameter is different and you can choose different bearing type. You can uh, choose seven series, okay? Seven series, mm -hmm. uh, okay. And so the diameter, the diameter and the wings uh, may be different too, okay? May different from this. And <clears throat> and then we should check for the shaft and the bearing. And the calculation procedure is too long and very difficult. So, uh, so when you do the course design, you can omit it, omit it this procedure. Okay, omit it this procedure. You can say, you can say from the design case. First, you should check the stress of the shaft. You should do force analysis should do force analysis and and the and the distance from the bearing to the gear we I assume that the force acting on the middle of the wings of the gear and the and the reacting point reacting point can find in the table in the table a a is the re reacting point, okay? And then to cal <coughs> calculate the length. And then we calculate the supporting force in horizontal play and in vertical play. And to calculate the resultant moment, resultant moment. And and do force analysis analysis 
and the sigma ca the, the calculate calculate stress should be larger than the allowable stress sigma minus one should be uh less than the allowable stress the torque q and this is the resultant resultant moment and this is the torque q and this is the section modulus and then to check the check the uh, strength of the uh, shaft and then we also need to check check the bearing knife check the bearing knife okay and uh, choose the bearing type bearing type and uh, we <coughs> shoot shoot calculation the actual force and the radial force reacting on the bearing you remember in the ppt in the bearing ppt we have examples do you remember uh, how to uh, calculate the the actual force and the radial force okay yeah. you can in the ppt and then and then we we should we should uh uh check we should uh check the uh use this use this to check the bearing life okay and it's also very difficult uh, so we omitted the two procedures okay you need them to check the strength and the bearing knife okay okay mm -hmm. of course it's too difficult so we omitted these two uh procedure and then we should select the k select the k we have determined the diameter for the shaft but there are two k's the two k's on the on the shaft we should <coughs> select the dimensions for the k okay we also can find the k from the word from the date okay where is the k let me see Screw. Mm -hmm. oh no 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 Say, where is the key? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yes, chapter 12. The key, okay. This is <coughs> we should load the lens and the wings of the key. This is a key, okay. We should. Load the lens and uh, the wings, and for the key, the okay, the we should uh, determine the L, the lens for the key, and the B, the wings for the key. You should uh and uh, determine and there is this is the lens of the t and this is the lens the diameter minus t and this is the lens of t okay the lens of t and we should determine the t and according according to what according to the shaft uh, diameter shaft diameter okay for segment a <clears throat> segment A, if we choose the diameter is 30 millimeter. So, so we shoot the diameter within 22 to 30 and the B is, B is 8. B is 8, okay? And the shaft T 
is four. Is four. T is four. Okay. So B is eight. T is four. So this B is eight, and this T is four. And we lost the diameter. And this length can be calculated. And for the length, for the length, the lens are standard, standard, standard values. According to this, the length of segment A is 58, 58. So we can choose, we can choose 50 or 56 as the length of the K. Okay, any problem? No problem. <laughs> okay, and for segment F, there is a K2, there is a K2, and the diameter, and the diameter of the segment is 47, okay? It's 47, so it's within this range, 47, it's within this range, the diameter is within this range. So B, so B is 40, and T is 5. Point, uh, Five, okay. Mm. So this B is forty, and this T is five point five, and this length is D is forty seven minus five point five, and the length, the length of the, the length of the segment F is fifty five. Uh, but we modify modify this as fifty three a little smaller than the wings of zero one uh, fifty three fifty three so so we can choose fifty for the lens for the lens of the k okay so we choose l is fifty millimeter millimeter okay and then <coughs> and then in the course design include uh include the contents first you should you should choose the type of the motor motor okay and uh, calculate speed ratio and then calculate Calculate the powers, uh, rotating speed and torque for each, uh, shaft shaft, and then, uh, uh, and then, uh, to determine or design, design the high speed state gear, okay, high high speed launch, high speed, high speed state gears. The smaller pillar gear and the uh, larger 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 gear, okay. Mm. And Lashi, then, in the course uh, design, yeah. we, uh? we should make only high speed. <coughs> okay, <coughs> which means the high speed, okay. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. Okay, okay. In the in the re, in the reducer, in the reducer, okay. This mm. is the high speed stage, and this is the low speed stage. Mm. We should design the shaft one, so we should consider the high state. High speed stage gears. Okay, this okay. is the high speed. This is the low speed. It's a reducer. The speed will decrease. Okay, from mm. there to there. Okay. Okay. Okay, and this is the high speed. And uh, then you design, design the uh, high speed gears. Choose the um. Material and head treatment first, and choose the rigidity, and choose the number of teeth, 
choose the number of teeth for Z1 usually within the range from uh, 20 to 40. Okay. Okay, from 20 to 40. Okay, within, the, within this range, yeah. You made some changes in this PPT. Please, when you finish, can you send this PPT to us? The one you already sent. These changes uh, are not. I, I I I will send the, uh, this PPT in group. Okay. Okay, last one. Uh, okay, and then you use speed ratio to calculate the two, and then you use uh, the context stress context stress to design. You should calculate the uh, values of all the factors, all the factors, okay? Okay, I, I have, in the PPT, you can know how to, how to calculate all the values, okay? And, okay. <clears throat> and they, and they, you should modify, modify the uh, minimum diameter choice. Mm -hmm. You first use the, a load factor to modify, and uh, and then use the modify the helical angle to modify the one, and then to check, use bending suggest to check, bending suggest to check, and you also calculate you need to calculate all the values of these factors, okay, and okay. Uh, in the PPT, uh, uh, the PPT can tell you how to. How to calculate and choose the factors, and uh, then and then modify modify the number of teeth, mm -hmm. number of teeth, and uh, and then and then use the modified number of teeth to modify the diameter yes, again, again, okay, and uh, and then to select. Uh, the width of B1. Width of B is 5D times D1, okay? And okay. Uh, and this B1, according to this B1, we can obtain the diameter, uh, the, the length of the shaft segment which the gear is mounted, okay? Yeah. And this is for the design, for the design of gears. And they <coughs> we design the shaft. Design the shaft. First, the calcul use this to calculate the minimal diameter. Actually, actually I can't, we can't see the, the PPT. You can't see the PPT? Yes. It's small. Oh, oh it's small? Yeah, you use this uh, on your, uh, you can find in your textbook this formula. And usually uh, we choose a low to medium carbon steers as shaft uh, materials. And mm -hmm. they, and they will lose the uh, power and the speed, uh, the speed. And then, and then we can calculate the minimal diameter of the shaft. Okay? Okay. Okay. And according according to the minimal diameter of the shaft and according according to the torque, according to torque and the minimal diameter, we choose the coupling type. Coupling mm. type. Okay? Choose the coupling uh, coupling type. And uh, and then you can choose uh, a different uh, coupling type from uh, this in the uh, PPT, okay? And okay. then you determine you determine the diameter and the segment for segment one, and consider the shoulder height, and to determine the D two, and then choose the bearing type. Uh, because because we use Hanneker gears, so 
the bearing, <coughs> the shaft, the shaft may wear um, subject to uh, both axial force and the radial force. So we can choose three series or seven series uh, uh, bearing type, okay? And then according to bearing type, we can, we can know the diameter and the length of the bearing and then to, to determine the diameter of length for the shaft segment. The, mm. uh, in this segment, you can, you cannot, uh, you, you can, uh, don't need, uh, you use this or your buffer. You can use bearing only, okay? You can use bearing only. If you use, uh, use bearing only, the length is equal to the width of the bearing. Okay? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, and then, and then, according, according to the width of the gear, we determine the length of the segment uh, F, which the gear is mounted. And then con uh, we uh, consider the shoulder height and we can obtain the diameter of the segment, okay? And then uh, for the shouldering, and then to, and then to uh, obtain all the dimensions of the shaft segment. And uh, this, and this diameter you should calculate by yourself. Use this diameter plus the height of the shoulder, okay? Mm. Okay, and this diameter and the thing. Finally, finally, you should uh okay. Finally, you should uh, draw the <coughs> shaft uh, parting, uh, 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 parting drawing, uh, like this or. Or oh, like this, yeah. Oh, there is, oh, or in your, uh, in your uh textbook, the example. Like this, you should, uh, uh draw this. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, this this is from from uh this uh this is the. Uh, this is the uh, from the sec sec section F to F, and uh, you uh, you can uh, you can uh, use the segment uh, section from there. It's uh, similar to this, and uh, you should <coughs> you should uh, 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 determine determine all the all the dimensions of the shaft uh, segment, segment, okay? okay? And you should determine the dimensions for the K, for the K, mm. okay? And then, and then you should consider, consider the datum, for example, this is the datum A, B, C, D. You can refer to these datums on the uh, on the example, and uh, you should uh, you should consider the fit tolerance. Fit tolerance. Uh, this is uh, for the bearing, the bearing bearings uh, and the shaft are. Uh, there are you can choose the uh, fit tolerance like this, and for there. Mounted the coupling and mounted the uh gears, you mm. need to consider the fate tolerance too. Okay. Okay. Mm. You can refer if you, you can refer to the example in your textbook. And you also uh can you uh, should consider the surface surface accur accuracy. Yes. Surface accuracy. Okay. Okay, the surface roughness logic. Uh, what? Roughness. 
Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, rough list, rough list. Okay. And then you should uh, consider this, this, okay? Yeah, this large. And, uh, and the chaffer, chaffer and finish, finish, mm. mm. okay? And, uh, but, but and the chaffer and the fillet, we make it ourselves. Uh, what? Finish, what? The chaffer and the fillet, we, we, the we give it. The value ourselves. Uh, uh the the radio of the finite and the chamber you can you can convert to this, convert to this. You can choose the C with the with this finger, okay? Okay, and <clears throat> and then uh, you should draw the shaft like this, okay? Mm -hmm. You draw the shaft like this, and uh, finally. Finally, for your uh, cost design, okay, in your uh, cost design, we use the case, the design case one as the, as the cost design. This is the cost design, okay? And the calculation, the calculation um, procedure I have given you in the PPT, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can, you can refer to and uh, finally and uh, so actually the cost that we are making two shafts. A what? Oh, the cost design. is it because you said we should do high speed, right? But uh, yeah, uh, do high speed, do high speed. But the example you gave us is it high speed? Yeah, the example I give you is the high is the high speed. Oh, okay. It's the high speed shaft. You can refer to you can refer to uh, the calculations. Okay. okay? <clears throat> this is for the uh cost design. So uh, uh, uh finally you should submit a description. Description include the uh, design procedure and the calculation, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, a shaft uh, shaft drawing, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, a shaft drawing like uh, like this I have given you before, and um, uh, and the uh, <coughs> students at the campus need to. Need to create, need to, need to create the description and the joints, and the okay. joints should create on A three paper, on A three paper, yes A three, A three, A three paper, and uh, overseas students submit, uh, electronic. Electronic okay. document, okay. Last year, when is the deadline? Uh, the deadline, the uh, deadline is um, um, week, week, uh, 18, okay. Last week, 18. 18. Last year, is this our final exam? Last year, uh, we have a lot of exams. Last year. Uh, you have you have exam. We have exam on week eighty, yeah. Yeah. It's so not the okay. So the deadline is uh, week ninety. <laughs> Last year we have four more exams. You know, maybe if you make it week twenty to be better, because we have four exams this this you week have, next week. Four you more have exams. four exams this week and next week. Yeah. This week is uh, sixty. Next week is seventy. No, not not this week. We have one exam seventeen, one exam eighteen, one exam nineteen. So maybe maybe ending of nineteen week will be will be good, or maybe twenty week because we need to study for that exam. If we yeah, okay, if we can, we oh, okay, rush, we okay. Oh, I I see, I see. Uh, the deadline is week twenty. Okay. Okay, last. Okay, uh, twenty. Twenty and uh, uh, the uh, students at campus and yeah. student campus can submit submit sub submit your uh, design to the 
to the office. Okay, I I will take them. I'm the monitor. I'll take them and take it there. Uh okay. yeah. Uh, and uh, the overseas student submit to the monitor. Okay. Okay, Lars. Yeah, he. To the monitor, he, he, he and then there. and then monitor submit the uh elect electronic document to me. Okay. Okay, Lars. And the students at the campus uh, uh, submit to the officer. Okay, Lars. Okay, and uh, and then um um next. Uh, next, uh, let me see. Okay, where is the... <coughs> okay. Uh, next, uh, next Tuesday, next Tuesday yeah. afternoon, do you have time? Let me check. What time is it? Tuesday afternoon. And Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh -huh. uh, Lashi, this yeah. is this is um sixteen week, right? Uh, yeah, this is 60 next week on December uh, 28. December 28. December 28. Yeah, Lao Shi, we don't have to ask. Uh, you have low class, okay? Yes. Yeah. Mm. So, uh, I will do I will do the experiment, okay? Okay. Experiment. And uh, uh, on engineering building one, engineering building one, room B, room. Two, you two, can send this two, two, to, the, to the class page. Uh, what? You can give us the room, like you can give it to us in the class page. Uh, class classroom uh, in. In the classroom, we do the no no no. Uh, I mean the room the room number. You can type it in the group, the WeChat group. Okay, okay. I can submit to the group. Okay. Okay. And next, uh, uh next Tuesday afternoon. Okay. Yes, guys. Okay, we do the experiment and um, on the week week eighteen we will have the uh, exam. Yeah. Exam. And uh, week, and week twenty, you submit the course design. Okay, Lashi, Lashi, Lashi the uh, exam. Lashi, can you can you tell us how it should be like? Because we don't uh, have any what? idea how the exam. The exam. You said you are going to tell us how it should be like and give us some questions to solve. Oh, <clears throat> the exam. I have given you the exercise. Uh, or the um i uh, the uh i have given you the exercise and the homework do you remember the uh exam i will choose choose the questions from the exercise oh uh, what no. the exam no. i have i have submitted to the group to the group Okay. Yeah, uh, submit to the group and uh, and uh, 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 I will choose the questions from the exam for your uh, the front exercise uh, for your exam. Okay. But the uh, but for calculation question, for calculation question, uh, the uh, values will be a little different, okay. a little different. Okay, and okay. then and then uh, before. Before week, before week uh, twenty, you should submit submit homework homework to me. Homework. The, the work you sent to us already. The homework you submit to monitor first, and then the monitor submit to me. The the one you sent in the group exercises and homework. We should solve all and send to you. Uh, you you just need to. Submit the homework. 
Okay, no exercise. Only homework. No, no exercise. Submit the homework. Because. Uh, week. Yeah? You said before which week? Before week, week 20. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay? Okay, before week 20. So, so any question? No other question. Okay, okay. So, class is uh, over. Okay? But, now she. Yeah? The exercises you gave us, see, they are a little difficult. <laughs> Maybe, okay, no problem. You gave us solutions, right? right? Yeah, yeah. We have, for the exercise, we have given you the answer. Okay, Lashi. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. Lashi, please don't forget to yeah. give us the number and the time, the Tuesday time, what time, in the morning or afternoon? Uh, afternoon, maybe from uh, afternoon from one o'clock. Okay, one o'clock. Actually, one is break, maybe two, right? Two o'clock. Oh, okay, because one you need, people eat. Uh, you should, you, you need to do maybe okay, okay, two o'clock, two o'clock, okay. okay, maybe two, 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 two to six or two to nine. It's okay, nine p.m. It's also okay. Uh, two to six, six, so it's okay, so it's okay. Okay. Yeah, she, she okay. Okay. Uh, class is over. Okay. Bye bye. Thank okay. You. Bye bye. Bye bye. Maybe you want to get an A, you get a plus, but in certain areas on your test, you get a B minus. So, situation we are going was to get an A plus. Not B minus. You are <laughs> the mark. Because I got it. Of the mark. The mark. She was too to so she couldn't cut for him. His effort. Were of the mark. She was too hysterical. He could not. Off the mark. His goal comfort, but but he was not able to off the mark. Now we have this third example sentence. 
the weather forecast was, was really of the mark today. today. They said it was going to be a really brisk day today, but instead it was, really, it was really brisk outside. Outside, really, really cold. cold. The weather forecast was really off the mm -hmm. mark today. today. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So one more time after me. Be off the mark. Excellent. Now, this third example idiom is very, very, very important. important. The idiom is bend over backwards. One more time after me. Bend over backwards. Excellent. I want you to think about this. Bending over is not, not difficult, difficult, but bending, but bending backwards can be a little, a little bit challenging. This idiom actually means to work extra hard in an effort to make someone happy. I want you to be happy. I want you to achieve your goals. I'm working hard. I've actually been Being over backwards to make sure. sure you achieve your English goals. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Now, I want us to look at the first example sentence. Here we go. Jamie's husband constantly, constantly bent over, over backwards, backwards for her. her. He's trying to make an extra to make his wife happy. happy. Bend over backwards. You see how useful this idiom actually is. Next, bend over backwards for the guy, and he still treats me poorly. You went over above and over all that you had to do. You worked extra hard to make him happy, but he still treats you poorly. Say bend over backwards. And the third bent over backwards for my family. I only extra effort for my family to, to make them happy. Again, I only bend over backwards for my family. Talk to you about something really quickly because yeah. this idiom is so important. Again, bending over backwards. You all know that I bend over backwards to help you achieve all of your English goals. But actually, the sponsor of today's video also bends over backwards for you each and every day. Cambly, right here. I want to thank Cambly so much for sponsoring this video. You see, Cambly offers English, English tutors and English, English learners English. like you around the world. They offer English tutors from America, Canada, Australia, and the UK, and they are available 24 7. Every day. Every day. Every time of day, every week for you. They are bending over backwards because they want to help you achieve your goals. Now, you all know how much I love Cambly because Cambly wants to help you by giving you a free 10-minute lesson. They, they want, want to help you reach your goal. goal. They want to help you finally speak English fluently. And they said, Tiffany, we want your students to get an opportunity to practice with an English tutor, an amazing, amazing. English tutor. Now, if you're really serious about truly taking your English to the next level, they have a 40% off any 12-month plan coupon just for you. Now, the link is in the description. Again, remember, Cambly has English, English tutors that bend over backwards, backwards to help you reach your, your English, English goals. goals. Cambly, thank you so much. I want to encourage everyone to click that link in the description and get your English tutor today, today and, and start, start speaking, speaking English fluently. Thanks again, Cambly. All right, guys, let's jump back into the lesson. Remember, hit the link in the description. Now, our fourth English mm -hmm. idiom is right here. Bite off, off more, more than, than you can chew. chew. Again, bite off more than you can yeah. chew. Excellent. Very good. Now, this just means to, to make, make a, a commitment. commitment. You, you cannot, cannot fulfill. fulfill to make a commitment. To make a commitment, you promise that, that you, you cannot, cannot fulfill. fulfill. I want you to think about a big sandwich, right? Maybe you like burgers, right? It's a huge burger. And and you you want, want to this burger? So <laughs> take a bite, but you're not able to eat this entire burger. But you try to stuff it in your mouth, and then you're not able to talk. You've bitten off more and than you, you can, can chew. chew. And your commitment was to eat the whole thing, but you're not able to. So in the idiom, it's the, the same, same taking, taking on a commitment, commitment, making a promise that you cannot fulfill. So. I'm actually kind of hungry now. Here we go. Here's the first example sentence. I think I bit off 
Now I can't with this new job. job. I can't handle it. Well, there is too much responsibility. Too much responsibility. I really bit off more than I could chew. Make sense? All right. Now, the second example sentence is, I need to expand to build my company, but I don't want to buy off more, more than, than I can chew. chew. I don't want to make a commitment that I, I cannot fulfill. fulfill. By. Buy off more than I can chew. Don't forget that big burger. All right? Mm -hmm. And the third example sentence is right here. He is about to bite off more than he can chew by marrying mm -hmm. Sabrina. She's a wild one. If she's a wild one, this means she's a little bit much for him to handle. She's a little wild. She's a little excited. A little bit too much. So again, he is about to bite off more than he can chew by marrying Sabrina. She's a wild one. He's trying to commit to her. But, but I, I don't, don't know, know if he's going to say this. this. Bite off more than you can chew. All right, this time after me. Bite off more than you can chew. Bite off more than you can chew. Excellent. All right, now the fifth idiom you must know. This idiom is bitter, yes. pickle, swallow. Oh. Let's so, study huh? here. Yeah. Oh, what's going on? Ah, you are hear me. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice that. No worries. I I saw uh you you did you you record the last class. Uh I need that one. So don't delay it. With this one from today. No, no, no. Last uh last class of this course. I, okay, I got to check. Yeah, uh, don't delay, it, bro. Okay, we'll check, okay? Okay, bro. Mm. Everyone is there. <laughs> uh, a lot of people around, and I forgot to mute my microphone. <laughs>